If you're looking for a very reputed data science master's level course in India, CMI's MSc Data Science program is the best. Welcome back to Honey of Knowledge. In this edition of Friday Talk, we will be talking about how to prepare for CMI's MSc in Data Science program. To prepare for this exam or any competitive exam or any entrance examination, the best starting point is the college or university admissions page so that you can look for their official syllabus, their exam format, the question papers and sample papers so that you can base your preparation on a solid framework. So if you go to CMI's admissions page, you can find a brief description of their syllabus and exam format and also sample paper and question papers of previous years. And if you dig deeper, there is a page which details the syllabus topic wise. It also recommends you a few books which you can go through. And as I cleared that exam and was selected for CMI's MSc Data Science program in 2018, I have distilled that syllabus and segmented them in three categories. First is maths and statistics second is boolean logic and truth tables third is pseudocodes or the ability to understand loops and statements so starting with maths and statistics if you're preparing for economic entrances or isi msqe or other mathematics based entrances you would be almost through with the preparation but my personal recommendation would be that get hold of a good JE book and you should be able to locate the syllabus for CMI's entrance in that JE book and go through those questions and try to figure out how to strengthen your strengths. And after you have gone through JE mathematics book, the next thing would be to go through some standard probability distributions like normal, binomial, Bernoulli, Poisson. Next stop would be Boolean logic and truth tables. Now the questions of this category would be of quite simple in nature. So get hold of any book which has Boolean logic and truth tables and even NCRT would do very good for your preparation. And lastly, you need to focus on pseudocodes and pseudocodes is not exactly programming because in pseudocodes, you don't need to get the syntax of the program right. It is a way to represent logic without a programming language. So it is somewhere between a programming language and an algorithm. So if you know how to read or write algorithms, and you get an understanding of if and else statement, for loop, while loop, and how to initialize variables and how to change variables, then you can easily answer the questions from the pseudocode section of CMI's MSc Data Science program. Now the question paper is divided into two categories, the first being objective and the second being subjective. By subjective, what I mean is you need to write the answers they would be checking your subjective portion only when you clear a threshold or cutoff in the objective section. And once they check your subjective, they will add your objective and subjective scores and then finally select you on the basis of the combined scores. Now, the questions of subjective category are not that difficult, but you need to be in good practice and you need to have a confidence while writing those answers because most of the exams are of objective in nature. So you might not have that practice. So that is a key aspect in CMI's MSc Data Science program. So I'll recap that there are three categories, maths and statistics, Boolean logic and truth tables, and pseudocodes. The only bottleneck here could be that you might not be good in pseudocodes. I would like to close this edition of Friday Talk. And if you want me to prepare more entrance exam preparation videos, comment below. And before you go, do like this video and also subscribe to the channel and also press the bell icon.
Bye-bye.